Welcome to this Zentangle Quickie. My name is Heather Hartwick Gladden. I'm a certified Zentangle teacher. And today we're going to take a look at the tangle Swiss It. That's how I'm pronouncing it. By CZT Amy Brody. Oh, this is so fun. Um, the day of this recording, it is Thursday. And oh my gosh, that means it's Tangle Time Day. And we had so much fun with this tangle. Oh my gosh. Um, Oh, just so neat. I can't wait to show you what, uh, at least my result. If you want to see the other results, make sure to uh, actually click on the description section for a number of reasons. Uh, and I'm going to say, I'm going to hit this up first. Um, in the description section, I have links to both the step out. So I always do my own version and then link to the creator of the tangle. So you'll see both of those there. Below that is my link tree link. And there, it's all, all of my social media, lots of other stuff, uh, ways to follow me uh, if you want to do classes, if you want to participate in what I'll show you later, at least my result. But if you go click on my website, if you want to see the results, number one, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, so you can click subscribe. Um, I, I hope that you'll like it and you will click like as well. If you want to just click it now, great. You can always unclick it if you've decided that you don't like it. <laughs> and... Uh, uh, and then I, I, I made myself laugh and then I lost my train of thought. Uh, I hate it when that happens. Um, oh, but if you want to see the results, subscribing to the YouTube channel, because when I, I process the replays, I put them here first and then I uh, will create a blog post with the screenshots and pictures and uh, basically links to the um to the replays as well as, you know, this quickie video. And, uh, it's just, it's a lot of fun. So, um, so anyway, check that out. <sighs> All right. So this, like I said, so much fun. Now you have some choices and by looking at those step outs, you'll, you'll see what I mean, uh, in more depth, but you basically, you can decide whether it, it I mean, it starts off with a a curved line, however you want to, you know, to make that curve line, um, a curve line going either uh, clockwise or counterclockwise, up to you. But what um, what Amy has us doing is we will continue to make the spirals in that direction. So you decide it's okay. Um, I just because that's the way I have been doing it. Uh, I'm going to have my spiral go to go clockwise. Yeah. All right. So let's start here. It doesn't matter. Honestly, it doesn't matter where you start. So I'm just going to do one like this and not have the paper take it run away. Now you could decide if you want to leave your spiral like this, or maybe you want to, you know, put a little end on it. And then we're going to work. So the spiral is going to go one direction, but we're going to work in the opposite direction. And all it is, it this, it, it's like an organic spiral tree <laughs> or spiral flower. We had so many neat results from this and it, it, it's however you want it to grow. So coming off of this end, let's see, I'm going to do, well, let's have one come like this. And then, oh, I could still have one come, uh, say, from this center and have it come up here like that. And then I can do another one here. And basically, you just keep working around your your tile and continue to turn it. And then, and, and we're doing this thing in the same direction. You know, and like this, like I made this a little bit more curvy. That Whatever happens, happens. Now, here's a fun thing that you can do. Um, so say I'm going to put, I'm going to put a big one up here, right? So I'm going to, I'm going to hollow bow like that and make a giant one up here and also up to you, you know, how many rounds you go in your spiral. Um, when you look at the description section and look at Amy's step out, her samples are just lovely. And, and she has, uh, she does the spirals a little bit differently in each one. So it gives you some really neat ideas. But so if you don't know what halibau means, so I, you saw I draw, I drew behind this, so we're not going to draw over it. So you just with, you know, I like to say with one thought. So, you know, I drew 
traveled my pen across as if I'm drawing it, put it down on the other side, and then continue on. Just like that. And then, like I said, you know, oh, you could do a smaller one, too. So I could put a little smaller one right here. I can have this kind of grow out of here like that. I can have another one grow out of here like that. <laughs> I can, let's see, we can come out here. We'll put one right in the middle. Like I said, it's just... You just, just keep going until you feel like you're done. Take that out. That way we don't have that little bit hanging. Now, here's another uh, hollow idea. So, say we come up here and, oh, oh, it's too big. Well, same idea. You just hollow behind, you know, behind that. It's just we don't go over any lines. And, uh, it, it, and it creates a really neat effect. It really does. Okay, let's do, and then, you know, even though I said, oh, we'll just continue to work in this fashion. Although, you know, you could. So like say here, if I wanted to holla about this one. Well, actually, what, as I'm going, I could do that. I did find myself, um, as I was playing with it, uh, kind of get a little out of order. Ooh, well, let's see. Oh, oh, well, here I can, I can. Come here and see like here, can a nice one to holla bow there. I keep forgetting to put the little center in. <laughs> it does, it creates a neat look that way. And let's see, let's put one more right here. All right. And then it's time to decorate and play. Uh, and Amy gave some really neat examples. And like I said, this just grows however you wish. And, uh, the way she, you know, the ideas that she has for decorating a couple ways, just deciding where I want to do it at. Um, let's do here just because, and I'm going to do, I'm going to go over this and create a little like an aura, and then I decided to use the PN pen, so I'm like, oh, it, f when I'm working on the small tiles, I usually like the O1, and, but I, but with the, the PN pen, you can be a little rougher with it, and, um, and that way I thought, well, that way I can just really get into the motion and, and do things, so I aura that put in some, although, you know what? I'm going to be smart here. Whoops. Sorry. Oh, boy, it takes it a minute to calm down when I smack the camera on accident. I'm going to use a smaller pen to fill in the little gaps. There we go. So you can do that on some of them. Um, yeah, my biggest thing is deciding which ones. Let's do one up here. And as I say, I, I have found it nicer to do this, to do this aura first and then fill in. But, I mean, you could just put orbs on the outside and then cover. It's just, it's nice to have that bit of solid up to you completely, of course. But as you can see, filling in the gaps is nice. And any other way that you decide that you want to decorate this, of course, is up to you. There we go. Sometimes I like to just, you know, put, put a few so that way and have it spread out a little bit. So let's put one right here. And then outside of that, she just had some perfing. So some, just some dots and that looks really, really nice. And I just realized I hope, hopefully my hand wasn't covering a lot of that beforehand stuff. Because I just peeked up, you know, I say when you get going as like, okay, I try to keep my hand like up. Usually I like to have my fingers down right at the, at the end. I've always done that since I was a kid, you know, hold the, hold my pencil or pen, you know, right close to the tip. All right. Looks 
looks neat. So then the other thing, as I mentioned, is some perfing and I'm just going to press in here with the, the pen. That's the other nice thing about this pan. It's a little thicker than say the 01. And you can do nice things like that. Oh, let's just do, you don't have to go all the way around. Again, you don't have to do all of them. And if you found a different way that you wanted to have fun with it, then do that. Oh, I did see some nice things. Oh, maybe I could do that in the, well, I don't know. I like this sometimes. We'll put some of those on the inside, maybe, yeah. Like here. Oh, and maybe <laughs> up to you, of course. It just makes it so festive. It really, really does. It's just, it's always funny. It's like it's, it's just amazing what just some little dots strategically placed will do. And I think I need, oh, I've got that going on the inside. Oh, let's do here. And maybe one more. Well, or maybe another, uh, another one. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, oh, one other thing. Yes. Um, that I, it was kind of like, I, I looked at it afterwards and Amy does have it in like at the bottom of her step out. She kind of writes, you know, here are some ideas. The other thing that she did actually, I thought was neat is to add some rounding. And so you see how that looks, right? So rounding would be just like where things come together like this. And I've switched to my, uh, oh yeah, this is my 005. That's a little bent nib that I kind of reserved for filling in. And I'm also going to tidy some of these things up. So like in here, and again, just a little curve line and fill in the gap. We'll do one here. It also could be, oops, fill it in all the way. Places like that. Oh, well, I have a dot there, but we'll, let's, let's put some rounding in instead. And it just, it adds something to it. It just, it's neat. And let's see, where else do I want? Oh, maybe right here. Oh, right here. There, oh, so there was another one of those right here. Let's see. Maybe like they're like just on the edges type of thing. And it's just like, it's like seek and find. <laughs> oh. As we check to see if we, you know, kind of either got them all and you know, it's just, like I said, it's, I think it just creates a neat, interesting look. Don't you think just that little bit of, a little bit of love <laughs> on them. Just neat. Now, how to shade this, if you even wanted to. Of course, you don't have to. But here is a thought. You know what, number one, let's just do this. On, I'm calling this the back side of these. Let's just th we'll throw some graphite. See, and down here. I'll emphasize that hollabout section. Oh, that's really on the curve, but we'll throw it in there anyway. And It's so interesting because it's such a, it's such a simple tangle, but you know, we can, but you can really, really have a lot of fun with it. And then I don't want to bring it out too far, especially because I'm, I'm working on such a small area. So I'm just kind of doing what I call the scooching motion. <laughs> so it's just kind of up and down. So it spreads it out a little bit, the graphite. 
but not taking it out too, too far. Look at ha almost half and wait, let me get ha actually more of a half and half. And I should have, I should have only put the graphite on the half. So that way, because you can, it kind of adds some dimension just by having the graphite, but you can see, you know, see the difference when you just add and spread out that graphite just a little bit. Really, really neat. And then you could decide too, and we will, if you want to put any graphite, um, you know, in any part of the spiral, because that is a thought. Look at how neat that is. And let's see if, oh, well, you know what? Here's two. Well, no, I'll show you on, on, on my sample, I think. Uh, yes, I will. Um, Cause other things you could do is you could thicken one side of these with um, the graphite. Let's, let's just, I'm going to pick this area and use what's left on my tortillon to begin with. So I'm kind of like going with just like, say the top ish. It's like this is the only one I put I put way I went way a little bit crazy with the the number of uh, rounds in that spiral, but it's okay. It adds some character. Yeah, that's that's kind of nice. Well, actually, that one would be up here. <laughs> oh, well. Maybe I'll like that, and then we'll just continue and put some on, on the opposite side, too. Oops, I see one other one. Voila! Oh, yeah, that really that added added some extra depth. So it's just a neat tangle, like I said. Um, and so here is my result from our AM session. Now, because I didn't explain the tangle time, these are free sessions that I do every Thursday, unless of course there's something weird in my schedule. Um, then I, I do my best to reschedule it every, you know, well, I think so far only once have I had to actually cancel. Um, but you know, it's a free class and it, like I said, it's a lot of fun. And, um, and, and then I, I think, I, I think I found some way to make it up to all, all of my, my regulars. So, <laughs> um, but anyway, so I, you know, decided this is actually a greenish tile, um, and wanted to have some fun with the white and then using some chalk pencil and stuff like that. So that was fun. And then um, variation on the same theme, decided to work on black with and, and play with every color of um, Moonlight gel pen that I have. <laughs> so, uh, including the, the silver around the edge there and in the, the perfing on the outside. So just really, really fun you know, you, you just, you don't have to think. And, you know, that was part of the reason that I said it's, it's you know, more on the lines of a perfect or quintessential tangle because you know, it's, it's basically one stroke. It's repetitive. Um, you can lose yourself in it. It doesn't matter whatever you do. And you're surprised by the result and the, you know, and the name stick with it, see it through is just, I don't know. I just think it's perfect. So, um, it, it's uh, yeah, so much fun. Give it a try. Um, it's really great. Oh, here's what I was mentioning. So like on some of these, you see where I went thicker on the one side, some of it, I, I need to go back because the gel pens, sometimes you have to go back and redefine those lines once you, uh, once you do them, um, but you know, it turned out pretty, pretty neat. Uh, but do, using that like in the black is is maybe even more uh, effective. But uh, anyway, wanted to point that out as an alternative 
way to, to play with that. So, all right. Well, I already mentioned the description section, except to encourage you, if you want to come and you want to play, um, entangle with, you know, people from all over online. Uh, I do it, I, you know, so I have an AM and a PM session and it's, uh, uh, 11 a.m. Uh, my time here in Michigan, that's Eastern time and 7 p.m. It's just an hour. And like I said, we have a really, really good time every time we get together and uh, yeah, just great fun. So come and join us. Uh, all the information, click on my link tree. Everything is there. Oh, you know, except I did not mention, oh, I need to remember to do it at the beginning sometime. Uh, but if you'd like to be, uh, part of a, a tangle community we have a great one uh, so the link is there in the link tree there are four questions you must answer in order to gain entry um, but we just you know it's it's almost like an extension of all of the the classes and things that I do um, and I do have some like I said these are free I do have some that that have a fee I also have a membership club if that which would is a basically a subscription and uh, you get all ac access to all the online classes and uh, replays and all of that for uh, for a monthly fee. Um, but you can check that out. All the links are there. So, oh, so much fun. All right. So with that, thank you so much for watching and I wish you happy tangling.